I've recently sorted out all my jewellery for autumn and winter and it's really lovely to see all my little treasures laid out like this. Currently I keep everything in these little trinket dishes that I've collected and I had the notion that I might make some kind of brooch display frame a la Dita and then I realised that I had this really lovely brooch on this brooch pillow that my beautiful friend Caroline had made for my birthday this year. So I decided that I needed to totally shamelessly copy her and make brooch pillows for my favourite brooches that would go with my autumn winter outfits. I've also been making Marlena berets like a loon and you end up with these lovely circles left over from the pretty linings and I wondered what I could possibly do with them. And now I know that I'm going to make brooch pillows. One of my trinket dishes is this amazing vintage plate. I'll pop the image of it up on the community page so you can have a read. This is a really simple craft project. You very carefully roll a very narrow hem all around the circle, which is a satisfying thing to do, and run a running stitch all the way around. Make a cup of tea, sit down in a leisurely fashion and do a lovely little bit of hand sewing. Perfect way to spend a couple of hours on a Sunday morning. I love that this is a really sustainable project using up all the odds and ends from making one sewing project and then creating something really beautiful that I'm going to really enjoy. It's very important to take frequent tea breaks whilst doing any kind of crafting. One of the things that I so enjoy about these very simple, almost mindless craft projects is that I can think about more complicated projects whilst I'm in a meditative state sewing. Once you've run your running stitch all the way around your circle, you want to gather up the, that circle into a sort of bowl shape, I suppose. I should have said that you want to use very sturdy thread for this project Anything that's weak or prone to breaking will really ruin your brooch pillow making. Once you've gathered up your circle, make sure that you leave the thread threaded on the needle. And I'm gonna stuff mine with just this poly filler that I happen to have, but you could use scraps and off cuts of threads and so on, making this truly sustainable. Once you've finished stuffing and you're happy with the shape of your brooch pillow, you want to pull to secure the thread. And then I simply just go round and round again, putting the needle through just to secure off. You don't want your pillow to come open and all the stuffing to, to spill out. I repeated this process with the other circles left over from my Marlena beret making, something that I've been doing rather madly over the last few weeks. Once your pillow is secure, just snip off the thread once you've done a little securing knot and your brooch pillow is ready to be used as a brooch pillow. This lovely rose brooch was given to me by another dear friend, Hannah of Hula Hannah, who I mention rather a lot. And it was so lovely to see this brooch against my favourite Liberty print, which is called Honeymoon and is from the 1930s.
I want to say a huge thank you and send all my love to Caroline for inspiring this fabulous idea. Such a clever person and I'm very glad to have such an inspirational friend in my life. It was really lovely to put my treasured brooches onto these treasured fabrics. I now know what brooch will go with what garment in my autumn winter wardrobe and I couldn't be happier. I especially love this 1920s snake that I was lucky enough to find for mere pennies in a local vintage shop. These are real treasures and such a lovely gift idea if you're in need of gift ideas. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and as always thank you so much for spending time with me in my little cottage by the sea. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're keeping safe and well and until next time my lovelies, bye!